Hello everyone, I'm LW, and let's get into this latch bar workout as we always do. So, it's a three step workout, anywhere from five to 10 set is good. Today we're gonna do just a five set. It's just a, a warm up set. We don't wanna get carried away. So it's three steps per set. Jogging in place for 60 seconds, 25 sit-ups, 25 crunches. Jogging in place, 60 seconds, let's get started. Let me set my uh, tracker here. I don't have it set. Okay. Get ready to rock and roll. Let's go. 60 seconds, jogging in place. You can do it. Let's work hard at it. Remember, you set a goal. The only way to get that goal, reach that goal, is to work hard at it, no matter what it is. Jogging in place will get you there. You don't need to go outside and jog. You don't have to wait until it's springtime. You can do it in your house, anywhere in your home. Jog in place. Start off slow. You don't have to go crazy. But you need to do something. And I'm trying to encourage you to do just that. 60 seconds. Jog in place. Now, let's put our mat in place along with our latch bar. Our sit-up and crunch assistant. Yep, that's right. It'll actually provide more comfort and control as you're conducting the sit-up or the crunch. No more back ache. No more neck ache. That's right. Just a pure sit up or crunch. Now you must use your abs at the same time. So you, when you are lifting yourself up from the lying position, you want to make sure that you're utilizing your abs and only using the hand grips just to give you a, a little help. You should not be pulling yourself up because if you do, you'll find yourself, your arms will be very, very tired. So you can help yourself up and also help yourself release. This way it keeps your back safe. And since you're not pulling on your neck anymore, there's no chance of you pulling a muscle in your neck. So let's do 25 sit-ups. Even if you can't do one sit up, the latch bar will help you do a sit up because you're using both your arms and your abdomen to help you conduct that sit up. And what you do is use it daily, multiple times a day, and it will help strengthen your abs and your arms so that you can do multiple sit-ups or crunches.
25 printers. Now you want to mark those down so that you can account for what you're doing. And we've done one set, so we put one mark on our clipboard. We use a clipboard simply because we don't want to forget. So, 60 seconds, jogging in place. We're back to step number one. So let's go. Let's burn some calories. We can do it. Let's go. Never count yourself out. You can get yourself in shape no matter who you are. You can get yourself in better shape. That's what it's all about. We're not trying to run any races. We're not trying to win any contest. But you're competing against your own health. And you're trying to make it better. And if you do the right things, you can do it. Don't work out for nothing. You want to work out to reward yourself. That's what you're working out for. Give yourself a pay rate increase. Improve your health. That's right. If your health is better, the less you have to go to the doctor. That's right. Unless you enjoy going to the doctor, paying him all of your money for something that you could correct yourself if you just do the right thing. Because we're literally eating ourselves into bad health. Let's do 25 sit-ups. Yes, we are. We're eating ourselves and also drinking ourselves into bad or poor health. Have to be careful of how much and what you eat. It's just that simple. And exercise will help strengthen your body to the level it should be. Wouldn't you like to do that? Wouldn't you like to be able to accomplish strengthening your body and losing some pounds? Wouldn't you really like to do that? Well, I'm here to tell you, you actually can. If you put your mind to it and do what you need to do, discipline yourself, and you'll be able to Accomplish a lot more than you've given yourself credit to do. Now that you've got yourself in the shape that you're in, now it's time to get yourself out of that shape. Get yourself into some good shape so that you feel better and look better. And you have more confidence 
in yourself. Once you feel better, once you look better, once you work and get yourself back into that good condition that you should be in, hey, you'll be so happy you won't believe it. You'll smile every time you look in the mirror. That's right. It'll have more meaning when you look in the mirror. Yeah, I understand you might have to replace some of those clothes in the wardrobe. You should have never had them in the first place. <laughs> but you have them. So now you just got to get rid of them. There's other people that's your size that will be glad to have them. You should be saying goodbye to those. And be thankful that you were able to get yourself back in shape. I tell you all the time. That's not who you fell in love with. Your spouse is looking at you. Don't think he or she is not. That's not who I fell in love with. You see all the problems this caused? You've caused yourself. In a lot of instances, people have to start all over with as a result of weight gain. It's not a beautiful thing. We all age, we all grow old, hopefully. That's not promised to any of us and I understand that. But as we age, we still wanna be able to do things. You're not going to be able if you continue going down the road you're going down because it's going to cause more and more illness. Because one illness, just chain reaction, it leads to another. That's the way it seems. And when you have additional fatty cells that you don't need, it's storing all kinds of stuff that we, can, we can't even imagine. So let's get rid of some of those storage cells and replace them with some healthy, good cells. 25 sit-ups, let's go. How good is that? Excellent, huh? I think so. Let's do 25 crunches now. That feels good. That's what you have to say to yourself and mean it. Because when you start getting results and you see that blood pressure monitor giving you good results, that's right. When you see that cholesterol report with your cholesterol in the range that it should be in, that's gonna put a smile on your face too. When you see that A1C number remaining the same and not putting you in any further danger, maybe you're borderline, pre-diabetic, something like that, you can still do better. You can make it better through exercise and proper dieting. It's all a part of it. It's an illness that we create it for ourselves. It's kind of a man-made or man-created illness. Because if you had this education 
and you applied it as we were growing up, most of us wouldn't feel the way that we do today. That's right. We would have thought, we would have thought a little bit more about how we were eating many, many years ago. And you would have paid attention to your metabolism because you would have saw yourself gaining weight and you would have known what to do. Oh, they say, oh, your metabolism is slowing down. Well, what does that mean to me when I'm a kid? They say one day. I don't understand what that means. We understand it more after we are impacted by these things. And of course, we understood many years ago. We just didn't do anything about it. Now we understand why we should have done something then about it. We understand why it was so important to do something about it. Because now it's to the point that what am I going to do about all these pills that I have to take? Yeah. And the reason I have to take all these pills is because I neglected myself. So are you going to drown in your sorrows or are you going to do something about it? Because you still have an opportunity to do something about it because if you improve your health, maybe half of those medications that you're taking will go away or at least the dosage, the regimen that you have to take, the dosage amount may be decreased, which is also good. Let's do 25 sit-ups, how about it? Yes, a wonderful, wonderful workout. You could be doing the same thing. In fact, you should be doing the same thing so that you can better your health. Let's do 25 crunches. There you have it. 25 crunches. Step three. Set number four. One more set to do. Then we can take a break. That's right. Take a break. And get moving. Once again, we'll have to maintain our workout by making sure we diet properly. Because if you don't diet properly, you'll just be throwing your workout into the garbage. That's right. So what would be the sense in attempting to cut your calories or burn your calories off And you're putting in more calories than what you burned off. You have a certain limit that you should be, you should have daily, a daily requirement. But once you go over the, the limit, remember, your food doesn't, your, your stomach doesn't, prop, doesn't recognize when you will overeat. It doesn't recognize the food that you put into your stomach at this point. You've overeaten. 
So you're going to suffer because your body can't process everything if you overeat. So let's not overeat. What your body recognizes as what it's able to digest within the metabolic, metabolism period of time. So if it's slow and you've overeaten, then what you have overeaten, then your body will recognize that part of your food as fat. Therefore, that fat is going to end up on you. Over a period of time, remember, five pounds a year, 10 years, 50 pounds. And it could be more. It all depends on how much fat you are feeding your body. It may come as anything. Once it's over the limit of what your body will process at a given time, it's fat. Doesn't matter which meal it is, just doesn't matter. Let's do 25 sit-ups. And there we are. Five set, complete. And now we have to work on making sure that we do not throw our workout into the garbage by overeating. Because it's easily to be done. Remember, we were not ever trained to eat in food eat in portions. It all sounds foreign to me, so to speak, okay, because that's not something we understood. We ate as much as we wanted to eat, and a lot of us continue to do it. You just can't do that. You're only hurting yourself, and in the long run, you're killing yourself. Let's all work together and do something about it. That's what it's all about. Completed this workout. We got a little bit over 23 minutes. Good time. Thank you all. And let's, let's all get together once again and work out like we should. Let's improve our health because we can do it. Thank you. Have a great day.